In this video, I'm going to talk about the properties of exponents. Um, I'm going to talk about three properties. These aren't all of them, just three of them. I'm going to talk about the product of powers, the quotient of powers, and the power of powers. And I'm going to do this in two different ways. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the algebra behind this. So I'm going to use a bunch of variables to kind of explain in general how these work. And then I'm actually going to do examples with numbers. So that's kind of how I'm going to do this. Um, but first, what I want to do is I'm going to go over just a little bit of vocabulary with exponents. Um, whenever you do exponents, you got to kind of remember, remind yourself of some of the vocabulary. So if I have an exponent, if I have some number, we'll call it b, some number to some power is always going to be equal to an answer. Okay, so these are the variables that I use when explaining exponents. If I have a number to some power, that's going to be equal to an answer. So this could be 5 to the second power is equal to 25. Something to that effect. Okay, now the reason I use b, x, and a is because b is the base. b is that number is what we call the base. So in this example down here, 5 is the base. Um, this x up here, that's the base. This x up here we call the exponent. Exponent. Or call it the power. You can call it exponent, you can call it power. Either one of those works. Um, but in this case with this number example, 2 is your exponent. And then I use a for answer. a for answer. And in this case, the 25 down here is your answer. So that's the vocabulary I'm going to use. Base, exponent, or power, either one, and then answer here. Uh, and again, it's always good to go over some of that vocabulary. It might have been, it might have been a while since you've seen exponents. Okay. Uh, now for the product of powers, uh, for the product rule. Basically what the product rule says is that if you are multiplying um, either variables or numbers, doesn't matter which, uh, if you're multiplying with like bases, you need to add the exponents. So let's give an algebra example. So if I have some base to some power times some base to a different power, notice I'm using y for kind of a different power. Okay, so if I have a base and a base, if these two numbers are the same and I'm multiplying them together, the product of power rules tells me that all I really need to do is just add the exponents together. So this just tells me that this is going to be b to the x plus y. Notice that that x plus y is raised up in the exponent position. Okay. Now this explanation of it is kind of confusing because we have all sorts of variables in here. So let's put some numbers in here. So for example, let's do, um, uh, let's have my base be a 3. So what if I have 3 to the second power times 3 to the fifth power. 3 to the second power and 3 to the fifth power. Okay, like bases, the rule is if I have like bases, then I can take the exponents and add them together. So this is going to be 3 to the seventh power. 3 to the seventh power. Okay, so that's your product of powers rule. Now we can continue to evaluate that 3 to the seventh power. I don't know what that is right off the top of my head, uh, but you can continue to evaluate that, but I'm just showing just the basics here. Um, anyway, let's move on to the quotient of powers. Okay, now the first one, product, means we multiply it. So notice that we multiplied like bases. Quotient of powers, you can imagine, quotient means divide, so I'm going to divide power. So I'm going to use some of the same variables, um, but it's going to be, look just a little bit different. Quotient of powers, that rule tells us that if you're dividing like bases, then you need to subtract the exponents. If you're dividing like bases, you need to subtract the exponents. So for example, if I have some number, we'll call it b, to some power, call it x, Okay, again, it's kind of similar here, but instead of multiplying, I'm going to divide. So I'm going to use a fraction bar to denote that I am dividing. So some number to some power divided by that same number, the same base, to a different power. Okay, if I'm dividing like bases, if I'm dividing like bases, then that means I need to subtract my exponents. Subtract my exponents. Okay, the product rule, we added the exponents, quotient rule, since I'm dividing these, I'm going to subtract my exponents. Okay, so I'm going to use the, the same numbers that I did for my previous one. Okay, so if I have 3 to the second power divided by 3 to the fifth power, okay, I'm using kind of the same numbers that I used before. I could use different ones, but I'm just going to keep it, uh, keep it the same. So in this case, 
If I'm dividing like bases, I'm going to take the exponents and subtract them. Now, notice that the base for both product and quotient, notice that the base hasn't changed. The base doesn't change. It's only the exponent that changes, as something I should have pointed out earlier. All right, so if I have 3 to the second power divided by 3 to the fifth power, like bases, and we're dividing, so I need to subtract my, my powers. It's going to be 3 to the negative third. 3 to the negative third. Now, in a later video, I will explain a little bit more about negative exponents, but I'm going to leave that right there uh, so that we can see where the negative 3 comes from. All right. Last but not least is power of powers. So notice that we've multiplied like bases. We have divided like bases. Now we're going to do power of a power. Okay, so this one is just a little bit different. Okay, so what if I have a base to some power, again using some of the same exponents, or excuse me, not exponents, uh, using some of the same variables here. So if I have some base to some power, but then I want to take that number to yet, again, a different power. So this, this is why we call it a power of a power. This power is being taken to a power. That's why it's called power of powers. I know it sounds a little bit redundant, but uh, that's kind of how we uh, categorize this one, this type of problem. All right, so the rule for power of powers, um, if you are doing a, if, if an exponent is being taken to another exponent, we have a power being taken to another power, we need to multiply the two exponents. So this would be, this would end up being b to the x times y. Okay, so notice that there's a little bit of a pattern here if you haven't recognized it yet. Notice product b to the x plus y, quotient b to the x minus y, and then power, okay, b to the x times y. So we're using add, subtract, and multiply here, um, as you can well imagine. A little bit of a pattern there to it, not too much. Um, if, uh, if you're good at remembering patterns, this is actually a good method to memorize uh, the rules for these three, but that's, that's a different story. But anyway, all right, so let's do a number example. Again, the rule for this, power of powers, if I'm doing a power of a power, I need to multiply the exponents. So let's use some of the same numbers we used here. If I have 3 to the second power, to the fifth power, power of a power, so that, that 2 is being taken to the fifth power, so I am going to take 3 to the tenth power. This 2 times 5, I'm going to multiply these two numbers here to get 10. Okay. Those are some of the properties of exponents. Those are some examples of them. Again, that's the product of powers, quotient of powers, and the power of powers. Those are just three of the examples of properties of exponents. I will be doing another video on the rest of the properties.